hey y'all what's good welcome back to my channel it's your girl tay and i'm here of course with another instacart slash family video first of all let me say this to you guys who have just recently subscribed to my channel this is a family channel this channel is not going to be all about instacart however um i'm doing instacart because that's what the direction of my life right now so i'm pretty sure instacart videos will be constant but i just don't want anyone to feel like they have been bamboozled this is a family channel so um as you guys if for those of you who didn't get a chance to check out my family intro you know i'm all about my family and my kids and everything that i do is for my kids and the whole reason why i'm doing all these different gig economy platforms is because i wanted the flexibility of being able to be there more so for my children i am a workaholic when I do work regular nine to five jobs, I work endless. I remember working one day, no, not one day, as a, um, as a CNA, I worked two weeks straight, no off days, um, seven to three, uh, three to a seven, three to 11, 11 to seven. So I worked so much to where I got sick. I made a lot of money, but my body just couldn't take it. So when I because I know this stuff has been around for a while, but because I'm such a workaholic and I stay out of what's going on in the world, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm not up in the news and all that, trying to catch the latest tea or none of that kind of stuff. So I didn't know DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart. I didn't know none of this stuff was even in play. So when I found it and realized, you know what, especially after, after having my son, then I ended up having to have a surgery, have my gallbladder removed or whatever. Um, I just really didn't want to go back to work in that sense. I didn't want to go back to a regular nine to five job, having people dictate, you know, I have to bring you paperwork when I'm sick. I got to prove I'm sick to you. It was just too much. So again, I don't want to rant on, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to do Instacart today. It is 1030. I got to get my kids up and dressed so that way we can get an order. Um, we're ready to go. And then also, if you guys didn't... Um, if no one did, like I said, uh, pay attention to like my Uber Eats videos or my DoorDash videos, I said that there were going to be some times where I was going to show you guys how to do these gig economy platforms if you have kids because it's not always easy for everybody to pay for childcare. I know for me, another reason why it was like, okay, this is better for me. I can do this when my kids are at school um, because $130 a day for childcare. I mean, come on now, like I'm not rich. I don't make that type of money where I can pay somebody 100 to $130 a day for six to eight hours while I'm working. So this just works out so much better for me with um, with Instacart. They stay home with my son's father, you know what I'm saying, um, while I go and I do my shops or, you know, I have a child that's old enough to watch her sister. So I go inside and I go do my little 15 minute shop and I come back. The kids don't need to get out the car, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, because they old enough. So for those of you who have like a 17 year old or whatever or a child that's old enough, you can, you know, if you have younger kids, like let's say you had a 17 year old and you have a, a child that's like five or whatever, you can leave your child. Your, I would leave my five year old in the car with my 17 year old, go do my little shop if it's a small shop. Now, I'm not talking about something that you're going to be in the store for 45 minutes. There's no way I'm talking about if this is something I can go in there and be done with in like 10 minutes, I'm going there and get my shop done and come back outside, deliver it. My kids don't get out of the car. They stay in the car. They know to be quiet. Mommy is working. Don't talk to me while I'm handling my business. But I just wanted to let you guys know that because, like I said, I don't want nobody to feel bamboozled. This is an open platform where we can talk and discuss our different experiences as Instacart shoppers, Uber Eats drivers, DoorDash drivers, Grubhub, Caviar, whatever gig economy platform that you are currently using, if it's all of them or if it's a couple of them. But but I just wanted to let you know that this is a family channel. So there are going to be um, other videos and other content that's going to come out on this channel as well. But anyways, on that note, you guys, make sure you smash that like button. Definitely comment down below, share and uh, subscribe. I'm about to get these kids up, get them some breakfast in their systems, teeth brush. We're going to get dressed because... I start my Instacart shift in less than 30 minutes now. So I need to hurry up and get on the ball. But I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so it is about 11.20 right now. I have not received an order yet. I'm kind of nervous. Um, just a little bit of an update of the video that I put out. I think it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday um, where I was declining batches. So I just wanted to kind of explain it again. Can y'all shush, shush, shush? So, and my kids. Um, what was I about to say? 
So this is how it works. If you get a if you get a badge and you decide that you don't want to take it for whatever the reason may be, you can um, hit take a break. And if you hit take a break, then it will not be counted against you um, your acceptance rate. Now, let's say, like for my example, um, that day they had sent me that very same batch three times. Now, the first time, of course, it wasn't counted against me. But um, the second time when they sent it to me again and I just let the timer run out, that was counted against me because they counted that. I don't know why they counted that as being, I don't know. But anyways, it counted against me. So then the second time, the third time when they sent it to me again, they didn't count it. So they only counted against you one time. So they send you one order four times and you decide not to take it all four times, it's only going to count against you that one time. So, um when I was editing the video, it still hadn't popped up. It was showing, um, it wasn't showing in my acceptance rating. But then when I went and checked uh, later, like a couple of hours later, it did show up. I don't know why it showed up so late, but it did actually show up some hours later. And um, it said one batch not acknowledged. So for this week so far, I have a 0% acceptance rate. Um, now, one, another shopper um, commented on that video and said that if you don't accept orders, if you decline, um, whether it's the same order a couple of times or if you decline a couple of orders, then they will either kick you out of the system for that day or they just won't send you any more orders. So I'm hoping that today is counted as a whole brand new day and that I at least get one order today, but um, I don't know. I had originally actually canceled these hours today. I was supposed to work 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., but um, I actually like doing it better um, earlier in the daytime. And then um, for those of you who are thinking about doing Instacart, uh, definitely check the description block blocks the description box below because i will always have my link my referral code down there you will receive e extra compensation for signing up using someone else's referral code you can't use it retroactively meaning you can't sign up and then go and put the referral code in you have to use a referral code whether it's mine or somebody else's when you do your initial sign up process because that's the only way you're going to get the extra compensation and that extra compensation varies depending on where you are um where you're living where you're located or whatever so um, another one of the Instacart shoppers hit me up actually not too long ago and said that they are in the city of Irvine which is a city out here in California I don't know how far it is from me I want to say it's about 30 45 minutes I don't know give or take I want to say 30 to 45 minutes away from me but um, they're saying that they're making $500 a week and it's just actually over $500 their first week and they're on their second week and this their brand new shopper so it just goes to show that in some areas it may be slow it may be um, not lucrative but in other areas it is because I would have never thought but I do remember telling you guys also, you have the opportunity to change your zone. So if where you are is not working, um, make sure to cancel your hours if you have any hours scheduled and then check what other zones are closest to you and go and work a day in those zones to see if it's better for you. I mean, the downside to that is you have to actually drive there and sit there and wait for an order to pop in. You know what I mean? I live in my zone, so I like being able to just sit in my house and wait for an order to come through. But you know what? If I got to drive and sit somewhere to make 500 plus a week, I will do so. I'm seriously considering it. Um, Los Angeles is not more than 10, 15 miles, not, yeah, 10, 15 miles away from me, about a 20 minute drive with no traffic. So um, that's definitely something that I'm willing to do. But we're gonna see. Um, I'm patiently waiting. I will let you guys know if I get another order or a order because I haven't gotten any orders today. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it is 1 p.m. and I just ended my Instacart hours. I didn't get not a order. And you guys already know after two hours of no activity, you can end your hours early without receiving a reliability incident. So I didn't get no orders. I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I um, didn't acknowledge that batch the other day, but I doubt it. I mean, it's just one batch. This is not a continuous thing, so I can't see them um, faulting me or not giving me orders just behind me not acknowledging one single batch. However, um, I mentioned it earlier, but like I said, there's someone, an Instacart shopper who um, messaged me or commented on one of my videos saying that they live in the city of Irvine, which... 
I just checked right now. And the city of Irvine is in Orange County um, zone, which I'm in. Now, the city of Irvine, when I click to navigate there, it's about 26 miles. It's 30 minutes right now with no traffic. So, um, I'm not sure if I want to travel that far to do Instacart. There are some red spots that are a lot closer to me. Now, keeping in mind that um, those red spots might not be in real time. Um, because there may be drivers already in those areas that are taking care of those orders. So, you know, you want to proceed with driving to certain um, red spots in the map with caution. You know what I mean? Like, do it at your own leisure if you can afford to do so. So, um, if y'all coming in, come in. Okay, so, um, yeah, I didn't get no order. I have Instacart or hours scheduled on Saturday. From, and I have them broken up so that I'm not tired. So it's from 11 to 1. And then I gave myself a break up until 2. And then 2 to 5. And then I gave myself a break up until 6. And then I believe I have hours from either 6 to 8 or 6 to 9 on Saturday. So um, we're going to see what it does. Oh, stay tuned, you guys, because I'm also signed up to do shipped. And I just scheduled myself for some shift hours i believe on sunday and monday i have to double check but definitely make sure that you stay tuned because i'm going to post a video on my first completed ship shop um as well but yeah so i guess i'm gonna have to say that today's instacart shift was a big fail but um if there's anybody that's in the Orange County area, um, like I said, I know that there's someone who's in Irvine, but there's anyone who's doing Instacart currently, either a new shopper or um, a veteran shopper, let me know what area you're in, in um, Orange County, because if there are any aspects or cities or locations in Orange County that are closer to me, closer than 26 miles away, I definitely wouldn't mind trying driving to those areas to see if I have any better luck. But yeah, I'm going to end this video on that note, you guys. Make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, share, and definitely subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.